these are the tail lights that are on the RV. Uh, made of plasticky junk, but I'm going to replace that. I'm going to replace these. This is one that I saw um, rust all the way through, and I saw one of these with rust. I think this one rust all the way through. So I'm going to take a quick look at those and see how that uh, can get fixed. All right, here we go. I'm going to start on this project here, which is the tail light removal replacement. Yeah, so every one of these screws have a little bit of rust. So maybe a little worse than I thought. It's dry, no moisture. So we'll ream these out a little bit and put some epoxy in these holes, fill them in. We'll put some um, dry lock inside these chambers, just dry lock them in. And then, uh, well, first we're going to cut it out to be the right size for the new tail light. And then we will dry lock each uh, compartment on both sides. And uh, that should solve uh, any moisture problems that we have. And when we put the new piece back on, it'll it'll go over this because it's a little bit bigger than this uh, tail light. And obviously, this uh, white won't be seen. So I just have a little eighth inch drill bit. Just trying to ream any of that rust out. See, that one's nice. Nothing, nothing really wrong in there. This one, a little crispy. Not so bad. What the heck does that go into? That bottom one totally misses. Absolutely, totally misses. Doesn't go into anything. Alright, we're going to start taking this off as well because that needs replaced. Oh, the weather's beautiful today. Just absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> I'm going to replace these with stainless steel screws as well. Uh, these are not stainless steel screws. So obviously I'll have to go get stainless steel screws. So I'll take a couple of these and uh, Look, not even the same size screw. Okay, so I have most of this apart. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to clip these wires. These wires are just uh, positive, negative. The others are both black. It's an it's a incandescent lamp going on, so it doesn't matter uh, their direction. And I'm just going to cut these off. Then I'll take this apart 
clean up this bracket because I need the bracket. Then we'll reattach uh, and solder these back on. Um, and we'll finish the bottom part and then we'll move to the top uh, tail light assembly. Grab a little punch, see if I can punch that out. That was easy. Second one's not as easy. There we go. And what else is holding us on here? That is all. Oh, that screw. There's a hidden screw. Yeah, boy. Now, that's the bracket I wanted. I will clean it up. That's the bracket I wanted. I will clean it up and we will use that uh, with, oh, where's the piece? With this, like so, and then we'll reassemble everything. Just using some cleaner to clean this off so I can see the holes. I think I'm going to put a little filler in those two because that's where the cover's going. That's exactly right. So I'm going to put a little filler right there for sure. Okay, we got a little bit of epoxy here. We're shoving it into this hole. Just want to seal it up because that's wood and I don't want that wood to get moisture in it. I don't even know that that's a hole. It's just a divot right there from I guess the other 
screw trying to go in it, but it didn't make it. Just put a divot in it. That is definitely a hole. Fill that up. That's a good start, and we'll work on those other ones in a little bit. And now we're just going to put the screws in this, tighten it down, and then we'll work on the electrical portion of it. All right, the epoxy has set up, which the holes are filled. It's not the most beautiful job in the world, um, but now we're just going to reattach this. Push the electrical up here, and we're ready to start phase two, which is the uh, tail light. All right, so I put a piece of tape here because I'm going to drill a hole right there, so I can feed the wire behind the tail light and up through here, and then I can tie off uh, electrically here, and it'll all be covered and matched. So, drills running in reverse. I'm just going to touch here. I have scored the fiberglass, the clear coat. Now we'll put it forward, we'll pop a hole through. We're through. We'll increase that size a little bit. Again, we'll go reverse, forward, more through, beautiful. Now we'll feed the wires up through, I might have to go one more bigger, uh, feed the wires up through there, then we'll connect them. Okay, this will be plenty big enough. Plenty big enough. See, that's why I ran it in reverse. Because it would chip that. It would have chipped it really good if I wouldn't have done that. Again, stainless steel screws. Uh, around here, the only place that ever has them, you can buy them at Home Depot, but what a pain in the butt. Or you can go to uh, Ace Hardware, buy them individually. Such an easier task to do that way. It's nice that the holes match up exactly on this, on this, uh, a little bit of twist, a little bit of bend, but it's right in there. There we go. Nice and tight. I did put a little bit of epoxy uh, in the holes I'm pushing these through in, just so. <clears throat> It would have a little more gripping power. All right, I'm gonna, 
that's going the way I want it to, but I'm going to get a power drill for that. Just do not want to use all the strength I have pushing that in. And this will do just as good a job as long as I lean into it a little bit. Pulse it in. There we go. That part's done. Looks nice. I like the stainless steel screws. Give me any problems later. All right, that's done. Now we will work on this here, then we will work on the light separately, make sure we got this connector fixed, and we'll bore this out. We'll, we'll router this out to fit the light, then we'll work on the other side.